Now, my personal velvet, a playlist of amazing vocalists handpicked by Leah Michelle, exclusively on Velvet on Sirius XM. I'm Leah Michelle playing my personal Velvet on Sirius XM. So the first song that I'm going to start with today is Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. I've been so inspired by Stevie Nicks my whole life. And as a performer, um, what I sort of am attracted to are uh, songs and songwriters that both music but also have beautiful vocals at the same time and the whole album of rumors for me um, was something that I heard playing in my house growing up my parents listened to a lot of classic rock and so Stevie Nicks and Fleetwood Mac was sort of a soundtrack for my childhood um, and so this song I just think it's so beautiful most of the songs from this whole record but um, Dreams in particular is one that just reminds me of my childhood. And then Stevie Nicks was one of the first people that I fell in love with the sound of her voice and her storytelling at the same time. This is my personal velvet, Leah Michelle on Sirius XM. This next song is probably one of my all time most favorite songs, Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. Um, I just remember hearing this song and the first time just crying because there was such heartbreak behind it. And again, it, it's not some crazy vocal journey and it's just, you hear it in her voice. There's this drama and sort of this like low level pain that I think was so incredible to hear that someone can do that, that they can write this incredible song and sing it and, and, and take their listeners on such a journey and really move you through the song. Uh, I have a song, Getaway Car, on my new album, Places, that was inspired by Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. And it is still, to this day, when I hear Fast Car, I feel like I've listened to it for the first time again. And maybe one day I'll do a cover of it, although I'm sure people are tired of hearing me do covers of songs after doing 800 on Glee. But um, <laughs> this is Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. I'm Leah Michelle playing my personal Velvet on Sirius XM. So I've got to include something from places my new album i really love this record so much i've been working on it for almost three years and it, you know i really loved making my first album but i drew a lot of uh influences from pop music both you know recording on glee and being a lover of pop music that was sort of how it was feeling at the time but i think that i felt looking back like i learned a lot from that experience and with creating this new record i really wanted to come back to my roots and really embrace my true sound as a vocalist and as a theatrical performer coming from Broadway. I wanted this album to sound like no one other than me. So there are so many songs on this record that mean so much to me, and I really can't pick a favorite. But I think that one of the songs that I listen to, and it has such personal meaning to me, and I think it's just such a great representation of this record, would be Getaway Car. And it's a song about love and it's the kind of love where you could pick up with the person that you're with and go anywhere in the world to a deserted island or to the smallest apartment that you could find and be just as happy with them anywhere you go. And uh, I've had the opportunity to experience that kind of love. So I wanted to have a song on the record that told that story. And again, as I mentioned earlier, it um, was inspired by Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. Um, so this is getaway car. It's Leah Michelle playing my personal Velvet on Sirius XM. The next song that um, I think has been one of the most important songs for me growing up is To Love You More by Celine Dion. Uh, she's obviously been one of the biggest inspirations for me vocally, uh, but just as a person, I think the way that she holds herself and how she's represented herself as an artist is so inspiring. But this song in particular, I used to sing over and over and over again in the car, and I wanted to sing like her. It's sort of like the vocal Olympics every time Celine Dion sings a song, and this song in particular was the inspiration for my whole new record. Um, I think she's so incredible and I love this song for how it kind of takes me back to hearing a vocalist sing for the first time in a way that I said, that's exactly what I want to do. And it's just a love song. And I love love songs that have a such a drive to them that makes you feel like you want to experience that kind of love. So To Love You More by Celine Dion. Sirius XM Velvet. I'm Leah Michelle.
I've sort of fallen in love with country music a little bit. I've never been the biggest country music fan, but um, I think what I love the most about country is, again, the storytelling. And just, it doesn't always have to be about the vocals and, you know, big moments, but it's really just about the words. And I think a combination on my record places are songs that definitely display strong vocals, but also I was excited to kind of take a little bit of an inspiration from these country songs that I've fallen in love with and not be so vocally large and just tell stories. Um, one of the songs that really inspired me was Over You by Miranda Lambert. And um, I didn't know what she was talking about and I didn't know the story behind the song, but I still felt like I understood every word she was saying. And I still, at the same time, was able to kind of make it my own. Uh, I wrote a song on places called Hey You, and um, it's very personal to me. And it was inspired by this song, Over You, by Miranda Lambert. And I just love her as an artist, and uh, I love this song so much. So, Over You, by Miranda Lambert. Sirius XM, Velvet, I'm Leah Michelle. I can't have a playlist without having one Barbra Streisand song on there. <laughs> And I guess the hardest thing for me is picking, just narrowing down one Barbra Streisand, because I'm pretty sure that I would have a whole radio station or playlist of only Barbra Streisand songs. But I think the most pivotal Barbra Streisand song for me of my life is My Man from Funny Girl. Um, it's the show-stopping number, the end of the show. It has a lot of personal meaning for me. I performed it on Glee, but I look up to her for who she is. Yeah, she's unique. And growing up, I looked at her and I saw me and that was so inspiring. And I've always looked up to her um, and who she is. I collect all of her records. So if I have to pick one song and not overload this entire playlist with all Barbara Streisand songs, then I would say it's my man. I love Funny Girl. It's my favorite musical. And I love this song. I love singing it. I perform it in all of my concerts now. And, um, you know, I think she's incredible and she's my role model. So this is My Man by Barbara Streisand. My personal velvet, Leah Michelle on Sirius XM. This next song is the first record that I ever bought. Um, Jagged Little Pill by Alanis Morissette is so important to me. I remember walking to the Virgin Megastore in Times Square when I was eight years old, and I bought the record. It was the first record I ever purchased. And I listened to it from front to back. And what I loved about this album, and I think what I've sort of tried to um, learn from it, is just the cohesiveness of the whole body of work. Um, she came out of the gate so strong with this record and really has stayed so true to herself, Alanis Morissette. And her song, Ironic, both vocally and lyrically, um, I, I loved. And I, I do kind of um, am drawn more towards rock songs sometimes, maybe just from hearing all those classic rock songs growing up in my house. And so this album has so much of a history for me. I, I really just love her. I've never met her before, and I, I'm okay with that because I think it's fine that, you know, in my mind, she's this, like, special icon. I mean, it would be really cool to meet her. So Ironic by Alanis Morissette. Sirius XM, Velvet, I'm Leah Michelle. Another diva who I love the most is Miss Adele. Um, she just is the best there's really, I, I can't say enough good things about her. She is someone who stays true to herself. She's an incredible vocalist. Her songs have such great meaning. And again, the cohesiveness of the bodies of work, every album, 19, 21, 25, they're such masterpieces. And um, again, I was really inspired by the cohesiveness of her albums. And that was something that I really tried to do with my new record. Uh, I think everyone can agree that Someone Like You is one of the best breakup songs of all time, if not the best breakup song of all time. Her voice and the story behind this song, it's just one of the greatest songs of all time, one of my favorite songs of all time. I like that it has a drama behind it, and yet it's so powerful. So, Adele, you are incredible, and this is Someone Like You. It's Leah Michelle playing my personal Velvet on Sirius XM. This next song, Somebody to Love by Queen, has so much meaning for me. Uh, again, I grew up, you know, my father played tons of classic rock um, albums growing up, The Who, Led Zeppelin, and Queen. And I remember listening to that song a a as a kid. And then, you know, fast forward 20 years, and it was one of my, if not my absolute favorite song that we ever did on Glee. Uh, I, I remember 
being on stage filming that number and it was so incredible because if you would have told me as a child growing up listening to the these songs that one day I would be on a television show where we would cover them and it would be such a huge success it was really such an incredible moment for me and I love Freddie Mercury and I think that vocally as a man he's one of the greatest vocalists to ever live and what he does on this song and the rest of you know his incredible hits is something I look up to and so personally and from growing up I've always loved this song so this is somebody to love my personal velvet Leah Michelle on Sirius XM Thank you guys so much for listening. I hope you've really enjoyed this playlist of some of my favorite songs, most personal songs and songs that have inspired me and that I've been listening to my entire life. And I, I think I'd like to end with one of my uh, favorite tracks from my first album, Louder. Uh, this album means so much to me. And uh, I had the honor of working closely with Sia on this first record. And she's such an incredible person and performer and friend. Uh, and I feel so privileged to have had that, you know, opportunity to work with her and collaborate with her. Uh, we worked on so many songs together for my first record, but one in particular that's my favorite would be You're Mine. And I love this song so much. What I was the most upset about was during my uh, the release of my first record, I couldn't really tour as much. And now um, I have the time during uh, this new release of Places to get back on the stage. And I've put together a really great concert that I can hopefully start doing in many more places. And I do a great a uh, stripped down version of your mind in that concert because to me it's one of the most important songs that I ever recorded that has such personal meaning to me. I remember recording it and listening to it. I connect the most with this song than maybe any song I've ever sung. So this is your mind and if you get a chance come see me in concert and you can hear it live. Thanks again so much. This is Leah Michelle and be sure to pick up places. <laughs>